Hello everyone! Um, so I thought I would do a quick update on what my routine is. You guys didn't really hear from me all of January and that's because I had three weeks of not taking glutathione and in those three weeks my skin definitely darkened back up. Now we're into March and um, since February and into March I've been taking it um, you know religiously every day. I did not darken up as quickly as I feared I would you know during those three weeks you know my skin definitely did take its time. Um, thankfully I remained at I guess the same level that I was before as far as the patches um, on my skin I feel like between month one of taking glutathione and month six um, you know my skin is lightening but I didn't really notice any large splotches of darker skin with lighter skin peeking through after that eight month mark or so yeah now I, I have splotches where I can literally see um, areas of just darker skin and then patches of the lighter skin underneath and so Thankfully, I maintained that so I can continue getting those darker splotches smaller and smaller. They're nothing that other people can notice, thankfully. It's just something that I can notice. You know, you have to be really close to someone to be able to see. But it's just, it's a good sign. And I've noticed a lot of other skin lightening YouTubers, they've mentioned the being able to see the lighter skin underneath their, you know, their old skin. And so, you know, it's just, it's a good step to finally get to. And you guys know this takes forever. <laughs> so if you are going on this journey, um, prepare to do it for a full year. I mean, let's be realistic. Prepare to do it for a full year. And that's taking it each and every day. <laughs> um, I guess the dosage, it depends on uh, what your funds are like. Some people are taking dosages of like 9,000 milligrams and above of glutathione, and some people are just sticking between 3,000 and 6,000. Um, so it really just depends on um, how much glutathione you've stocked up on and uh, you know what you can afford, basically. I'm gonna go get what I'm using really quick and then I'll show you guys um, the dosage. Okay, so I, I got my bottles. So I'm taking one tablespoon of this. This is the SHC glutathione. And then one tablespoon of this, just vitamin C. Um, the bottles are pretty big, thank goodness. Um, honestly, I should be probably taking a little over just one tablespoon of this because, um, you know, it's good to get the equivalent amount of vitamin C, if not more, than the amount of glutathione you're taking. So one tablespoon is a little over 3,000 milligrams. Um, so this goes by the milliliters, so 8 milliliters equals 12,000 milligrams of glutathione. Um, and it doesn't exactly translate over to teaspoons, so there's 3 teaspoons in a tablespoon. So 8 milliliters of this is actually like 1.6 teaspoons. So when it's all said and done, I'm probably getting 3,300 milligrams or maybe 3,200 milligrams of this. Um, and then I'm taking one table or yeah, one tablespoon of this and I'm getting a little under that. So yeah, we, we gotta be careful. <laughs> I should probably take, be taking a little bit more of this, um, but sometimes I just, I get a little lazy. So I just pour these out to tablespoons and basically check it down. Even though that's kind of a low dose, I think most people like try to take 6,000 or more. Um, I've been fine with it. I feel like I can get away with it just because it is liposomal and it just goes directly to your bloodstream. So um, I don't feel like I'm losing most of it as if, if I were still using like um, the powder or something like that. So I'm happy with it. If you're thinking liposomal, you can just drink this. You don't have to take it rectally. Um, you don't have to put it in the nebulizer if you don't want to. Um, these don't get broke down by your stomach acid. So that is that is why everyone loves liposomal, <laughs> especially uh, the uh, the liquid liposomal because you know it goes free where it's supposed to, and you're not wasting any of it. So that's what I've been doing for gosh ever <laughs> since I've been on the SHC. With Ion. Um, and then I stopped taking, uh, gosh, just let me get just everything that I'm taking right now because I've, you know, adjusted my routine. 
But aside from that, I'm also taking Codeage Collagen. Um, I basically bumped myself up to a better collagen than the one I was taking. The one I was taking before I think was either only type 1 or only type 2 collagen. Um, this one that I'm on now is, gosh, I think it's four or five different types. It's supposedly the best of the best. I haven't been on it for a month yet. So once I've hit the one month mark on it, I'll let you guys know the difference I see in my skin. Um, but yeah, I got, I had a recommendation from another YouTuber who, um, she's actually, she's not skin lightening, but her skin is flawless. So collagen does not lighten your skin in any way. Um, it just helps erase, you know, fine lines, wrinkles. It helps smooth out your skin. It's going to be plump and just feeling amazing. And you know, you want healthy looking skin, you want glowy looking skin. And so that's why I make sure that I take collagen. Um, I stopped MSM for a while. I think I had to stop MSM for about two months or so. I wasn't taking it consistently. And so that's why I just had to cut it cold turkey. <laughs> also, uh, there are some YouTubers on here who use MSM for, you know, uh, one year, two years, like they've been using it consistently for a while. And they noticed that you have to kind of take a break with MSM or you will notice you're not going to get as drastic results. So um, I took a, I, I feel like it was one and a half months, maybe two month break. And now I'm back on MSM as of the beginning of last week. And um, yeah, I'm hoping to see a spike in my results again. But basically it's just one of those products. If you take it every, every day for months and months and months and months, you might see that your results kind of start to slow down and it's not as effective. So by stopping for a while and then starting back up you kind of shock your system into it working again um <laughs> don't ask me why that is but i notice sometimes my hair will do that with some of my favorite products i'm using one shampoo and conditioner for a long time all of a sudden it's like it doesn't work as great anymore i stop and then go back to it a few months later and it's like voila <laughs> it loves it again so i guess maybe our skin can be the same way i don't know so i'm back on msm i'm not taking a huge dose of it i'm only taking a quarter of a teaspoon which is only a thousand milligrams i'm basically only taking msm um, just for the skin um, smoothing benefits and for how crazy it makes my hair grow it really will make your hair grow so 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 crazy and people see amazing results just on taking a thousand milligrams so you don't have to mega dose it if you want smoother softer skin or um if you're taking it for your joints or if you're taking it to grow longer hair we only mega dose it when you're like skin lightening and um yeah i'm, I'm not too worried about that right now so that's why i'm just taking basically your recommended dosage and i basically the first week you have to make sure that you're drinking tons of water well i guess throughout your entire time drinking three liters of 9.5 uh ph balanced water and so i'm almost done with my first one and it's like 11 right now and so i'm doing really really good very proud of myself but um if you're not uh, safe then you're gonna get awful breakouts and it's just it's not even worth it so please drink your water what else? Um, for skin, I'm still taking hyaluronic acid. Um, one pill, I think, is 100 milligrams, so I'm taking 200 milligrams. Hyaluronic acid is one of those. You can still get the great benefits of healthy skin um, without mega dosing it. And yeah, I can't say that this lightens, but it does promote healthy, amazing looking skin. And so that's why I'm taking it. And I've been taking this for, I feel like, over four months now. And um, yeah, I will continue to do so. So as far, oh yeah, and my liquid uh, chlorophyll. Chloroxygen is my favorite one. Um, it comes in a dropper, as you can see. I just ordered a new one with this coronavirus stuff. Thankfully, it's not all sort of sold out because this is um, kind of, uh, I guess people talk it up as far as like boosting your immunity. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. I just know that I love the way it makes my skin look. It gives you a yellowish undertone, kind of, um, but it, it's not its not really long lasting. Like if you stop taking this, you're gonna notice your skin doesn't look like that anymore. So, you know, 
it's not a permanent change but i just take it just because i love it and also it helps um keep your digestive system in check making sure that you know you go all the time and things are moving smoothly um if you're one of those people who has issues with constipation or if you feel like you don't go number two at least every two to three days um i mean and that's pushing it it should be every day but you know every two to three days if you're going longer without taking a bowel movement then um, you need to get on that asap because basically it can slow down um, how your body metabolizes all of your vitamins and supplements that you're taking so basically you're not going to get all the goodness because you have a lot of toxic waste you know held up in your body and so Keep that in mind that's why we do enemas and things like that um i haven't done an enema i feel like in a week and a half but throughout this entire journey i've been doing coffee enemas at least once a week sometimes it's like two or three times a week uh consistently and yeah i just like that it cleans me out and keeps me nice and you know healthy <laughs> because yeah, that's that's just important because i want to make sure that my skin is able to take in all of these great nutrients of everything that i'm using um this is not for skin this is slippery elm i've talked about it in other videos um this just increases the uh i guess your womanly lubricant <laughs> the production of it like slippery elm i mean yeah <laughs> I, I just wanted to point this out that you cannot take this at the same time that you're taking other vitamins or other supplements It will completely cancel them out You guys already know that there's some vitamins you can't take at the same time because yeah, they'll just make the other one not work This is one of them So you want to make sure to take this either an hour before you're taking your other supplements or a few hours after you've taken your other supplements Do not take them at the same time or best Take all these supplements in the morning and then take this in the evening. There you go. Don't worry about it. But it works great for like in increasing your lubricant. Like, buku. Crazy. For these, um, four capsules is, let me see, 1.6 grams. So about 1,600. Um, that's for four capsules. I take about six. Some buckets. I love these. These are just for like immune system and but it has zinc in it and so that's why it's I'm telling you guys about it. Um, if you are struggling with acne, I've noticed even taking a small dosage of zinc for because for these two gummies has 7.5 milligrams of zinc. It's great. It really, really, really helps. Um, clear up your acne, especially if you have hormonal acne, adult acne. And so you would have never thought it but yeah so i take two of these a day and that's great because it boosts your immune system you guys probably already know what elderberry does some buckets right now we're going through a shortage in the u.s i'm not sure if it's the same everywhere else but people are buying them because if you take this it basically makes your flu or your cold shorter and so everyone's trying to do everything they can if they're already sick taking things like this or to just prevent getting sick um, thankfully, I bought this a few weeks ago before everyone in the U.S. knew what was really going on and started hoarding everything. Um, but it's, gosh, if you're taking two gummies a day and there's 60 gummies in here, that's only a 30-day supply. And so I've already gone back on to order another one and we're all out of all Sambuckus and all Elderberry. And I've been looking in the stores um, of like our Walmart, our Publix, stuff like that, and they're out too, so... If you can get a hold of this, get a hold of it now. Just make sure that it's the elderberry with zinc. This one has zinc as well as vitamin C in it. And um, there's 90 milligrams of vitamin C for two gummies. I mean, it's not a crazy amount, but you know, it's it's a good amount. So they have gummies, which are always yummy. And they also have like a, a pill form. Um, you know, I love the way the gummies taste. That's why I wanted to get more gummies, but some of these we don't even know when they're gonna be back in stock. And then the other ones don't have the zinc. And so I need both. I need both the elderberry and the zinc. And so I had to buy the pills, but if you get the pills, it's actually uh, more for your money because you only have to, you'll get like a count of 60. And in that pill, you'll have 7.5 milligrams of zinc already in it. So you only really need to take one pill. And of course that's like one bottle lasts you two months instead of having to take two of these and your 60 count only lasts for one month. If you can even find these, like just go ahead and grab them now um, because yeah. Where I'm at, we're having a shortage already. And 
the US really hasn't got hit hard yet, um, but uh, it's coming. And so, yeah. I think that's all I have for you guys. That's basically my skin care update list. Um, I'm gonna go in the shower and go get out all of my topicals and I'll get my lotions and we will talk about that. Um, but that'll be the next video. So this video isn't like an hour long, but yeah.